I'm going to turn that on. Right, so we can see the different colors of the flame. The brightest flames in high school chemistry are in Vancouver, sharpening their skills in UBC's labs. In less than two weeks, they'll be at the International Chemistry Olympiad in Dubai. This is probably the biggest lab I've been here, and there's so much uh, cool equipment around, and I'm very excited to be able to try. Right now, they're trying to discover the mystery compounds in these vials. They use chemical techniques, the process of elimination, and their own analytical expertise to figure it out. What are you doing right now? Uh, looking for precipitate. I'm testing with silver nitrate. Pretend I haven't done chemistry in 15 years. Also, basically, some of these ones, the unknowns, will react with unknown. And then if it reacts, I c it can help me pinpoint down what is reacting, if I know the reaction. The students here are the best and the brightest, the top four in Canada, and looking to represent our country against the world. Of 800 high school students that went out for the team, only these four remain. This is honestly like, I was not expecting that. I got that email and me and my mom just screamed for an hour. So I'm so excited, we're all so excited. Lawrence Luo lives in Coquitlam. Born in China and living in Singapore and the US, he's proud to show his stuff for Canada. I'm really excited for this opportunity. Um, you know, our family has been bouncing through several countries, so to be able to finally settle down and represent, you know, one of them in this big competition is, is a great honor for me. Last year, Canada had its best performance since 2011, winning a gold medal. The young chemists here will be bringing home silver at least. Using their own chemistry know-how, they're coating these maple syrup bottles in real silver. I'm really excited to get to do a bunch more practical experiments. Since in school chem, you know, you don't get that many, you don't get that much equipment, and the experiments are usually more simple. And despite the excitement over silver today, <laughs> see this finished product. Yes. These students have got their eyes on gold. At UBC, Jack Morse, City News.